Okay, a big part of gardening is planning. And I am guilty of just having an idea and just jumping right in and saying, oh, I've got nine grapevines, let's plant a vineyard, without knowing a single thing about growing grapes. <laughs> just trying to figure out where to lay out the <laughs> insectiary and the vineyard. <laughs> But I just learned that there is a local vineyard. The wife is very friendly and loves to share information. So I'll be making a trip down there. But meanwhile, we have it marked out where we're going to put our first two rows. And if it goes well, we'll expand. My goal is growing table grapes. I'm not going to even think about <laughs> wine. But also we've got our insectiary marked out. And I was sent a huge pack of seeds for an insectiary from Greg in California. And I can't wait to plant those. And I've also picked up some other seeds that are pollinator friendly. And my friend Connie sent me sunflower seeds. So I'm going to plant the sunflower seeds in the back and everything lower and lower down front so that when you drive by the road you can see this whole display 
from shortest to tallest in the back. That will be the plan. But I was told that rather than trying to cultivate this grass, it'll just, the grass seeds will just turn over and come right back up. To remove the grass and just work up the soil with a hoe, uh, it's not that big of an area, so that is the plan for Monday. Right now we are going to pot up my 50 or 60 tomato plants into trade gallon, one gallon pots so that they will survive until we get some kind of garden laid out for them. I have been looking at hoop houses and I, I just don't think I'm going to have time to get all that done. <laughs> before these tomatoes have to be planted out. So I'm going to use the back of the truck as a table, the tailgate, and we're going to pop these up really fast. Okay. Okay, Justin just took off and he stayed a little bit later to help me finish potting up the tomatoes because some of them looked like they were starting to damp off. They were very tall for those two and three quarter inch pots. You know, a 16 ounce solo cup would have had more support. However, <laughs> that's not what I use this year and I am not ready to set them out in the garden, even though we are weather-wise fine to do that, uh, but we've got to figure out where they're going to go, and that hasn't happened yet. So we potted up, I ordered 60 of these trade pots, and there's one left. So they're 59. I would say out of the 59, there are maybe 10 that are questionable. So I'm really excited, you know, if I get 50 plants that are actually good producers, I'll be over the moon. But I'm going to do one more thing out here um, 
it's always so much more to do that I wish I could have gotten done and didn't. But I'm going to pot up these paper whites. I had some bulbs laying around for a year or two in my California kitchen and I potted them up into the two and a quarter and they sprouted up green and I'm wanting to see them bloom. So I'm going to put them in a little two foot planter. So that'll be kind of the, and then I got to clean up. <laughs> They're collapsing over, so I hope they can be rescued. One is too wet, the other two aren't wet enough. The soil is really wet, so I think it'll be okay. Okay, I have loaded up, let's see, 36 plants on this one cart. I don't know if I can make it inside, but I'm gonna try. Because you know, when you start your plants from seed, they're your babies and you, I just don't, they're kind of fragile. I just potted them up and I don't want a bunch of bugs like laying eggs or whatever on them tonight and it's supposed to rain and the soil is already saturated. Some of them look like they were trying to dampen off and I can't take the chance. So they're going inside for at least one more night. Okay, <laughs> that's all she wrote for today anyway. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.